Hi, everyone, and welcome to TWF Smack. Hi, everybody, and welcome to TWF 205 Live. And today we have the Hulk here in one of his uh, sundriest forms. Now, some people have claimed that the figure I bought a long time ago from the American Thrift Center, they claimed, well, at least one of our helpers claimed that it was actually one of the Hulk and some other form. So anyway, today we got the Hulk here. And what does he want? Well, a uh, Hulk come to TWF because since Hulk hears there are a lot of members of the United Alliance of Evil, and that it's time for members of the United Alliance of Good to take out those members of the United Alliance of Evil. And everyone knows about me. I have my own comic book and my own books, moving shows, farseer shows, moving games. Everybody knows that I'm a member of the Avengers branch in Idle Alliance of Good. And everybody knows that you suck. That's Dennis Rodman. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Diva Talks and the Jackal this time, this time in 205 Live. Yeah, well, Diva Talks said, I guess the Pirates of B thought I should be a that I should be in doing this again. And why does Dennis Rodman have NWO in his shirt? I don't know. Well, the Jackal says, you know, at least I'll give Astronomy and Eclipter some credit. At least they know how to put good matches together. Compared to Andros, I don't know. And as far as Xenon Ric Flair is concerned and TDF Board of Directors, I hope they're watching what, Coron what Astronomy and, uh, Godzilla's doing, I mean, the Clippers doing. I've been here for a long time. Former two-time TWF heavyweight champion. One-time TWF intercontinental champion. Hell, you make an argument that I could have gone for other belts. But... Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Mom. That I could have gone for other belts, but I chose not to. I've been kept off, and now I'm going to finally defeat you. Well, then bring it on, Dennis Rodman, because Hulk going to smash you. Well, we got to get a referee in here to make this match official. Ding, ding. So, do you have any any beholdings to why Astronomy and Eclipse are evil again? I... No, I don't, Diva Talk says. She's probably brainwashed again. And I don't really care at this point. At this point in the game, it doesn't really matter, Jackal says. I mean, I don't think Andros is going to find out who brainwashed Astronema or Corona or Eclipse again. Oh, uh, kill Eclipse and reprogram. Sorry. Or actually brainwash Godzilla. And Hulk doing a good job right now, trying to take care of Dennis Rodman, who wanted to challenge the Hulk here on 205 Live. Oh, well, he doesn't got really have much wrestling abilities, Diva Talk says. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Dennis Rodman just DDT'd the Hulk. And now Dennis Rodman thinks he's going to beat the Hulk here again. Oh. And sadly, he just keeps talking when he gets beat up here. The Hulk in trouble here. And now Dennis Rodman thinks he's going to... Uh, Dennis Rodman actually thinks he's going to beat the Hulk here. I mean, he's going to use his feet on the rope. Oh, that's real nice. That is real nice. Well, you got to get a victory any way you're going to get him. Diva Talk says, yeah, Dennis Rodman can't even stay on the Hulk. That's how fucked up he is. Oh, hey, watch it. Yeah, the Jackal says, wait a minute. The Jackal says, you you got to beat the Hulk. He's just too powerful. So he got to cheat. Wait a minute. The shield showed up. The shield just showed up out of nowhere. 
Dennis Rodman it and was extracted by seeing them. And now the Hulk finally got him back up now. I guess we'll call that the Hulk squash, I guess, or smash. One, two, three. Here is your winner, the Hulk. Well, the Hulk is victorious here, and now the Shield finally come in the ring now. The referee has to get out of there. Now, what's this all about? Uh-oh, I think I figured it out. What's going on here? You pick on how dare you not give the Hulk unlook, Seth Rollins says. Yeah, Dean Ambrose said, he is a good doer. A member of the Nine of good. You will still be punished for your for your misdeeds, uh, Roman Reigns says. Wait a minute. Superman punch. Each one is going to do their finishing and mover. 30 days. Pedigree. They're loading them up now. Seth Rollins. And Dean Ambrose are trying to get Dennis Rodman in position so they can do that triple DDT the Shield does. Oh, they just did it. Another injustice, that another right, another wrong has been righted. According to them, according to them, sadly, they think this. You know, according to them, they believe this, Diva Talk says. Yeah, but the truth is, the Jackal says, the truth of the matter is, they're actually the wrong here. And the shield, well, I got to see if I can fix Roman Reigns' fuse. He still refuses to stand up. Like, no matter what I do with his shoes, he just does not want to stand. Whoa! Yeah, according to them, the Jackal says, I sure hope Astronomani and Clipped are watching. These guys are going to get punished. Well, it was, it, remember, it was... Mm. Oops, I guess. Come on. Stay put. Something wrong with his feet. He just will not stand up. Think up. And the shield took out Seth, took out Dean, and took out Dennis Rodman. And I'm sure now they got some announcement they're going to probably make. Sometime down the road. Do you all pro Yep, yeah, they're real proud of themselves. They got the little matching shirts with their little crappy designs on them. Yeah, of course they do. They little crappy designs on them while they once again just, you know, once again just took out um my uh, hair Renee Young is now going to catch up with the catch up with the Hulk. Renee Young catching up with the Hulk. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, he doesn't really need any introduction. He's the Hulk. So Hulk, how do you feel about being here in the Toy Wrestling Federation? Hulk happy. But Hulk knows there are members of the Alliance of Evil that got to be defeated. By members and allies that good like me. And Hulk beat Dennis Rodman. And then the Shield came out. And they get they they wrong they a uh, the wrong that was made right. I need I I should have unlook since I'm a member and alliance of good. Since I am a member of the Avengers branch and not alliance of good. I just beat Dennis Rodman and I want to say, Shield, good luck on being members and alliance of good. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for that nice uh, uh, thank you for that interview with um, 
you know, thank you for that interview. Well, you know, with Renee Young. Now, before we end 205 Live, we do have Ms. TV. And then I don't know if this is going, is this going to play off or not. Welcome, everybody, to one of the most watched interview segments here in the Toy Wrestling Federation, Ms. TV. And today, the Miz says, apparently, nobody brought, apparently today, I'm supposed to have an interview. Now, I could have picked out anyone I wanted to pick out. But let's talk about a little history first. A little bit, little saw, a little underwarp here. I'm on the winning team. Me, Aries, Alaska, Kevin Owens, James Storm, I believe. Hell, even Dennis Rodman and Lukey. We defeated those assholes. We defeated Four, Shrek, Roman Reigns. Wonder Woman, Paulo Cruz, Sensei Nakamura. We defeated them. And at the end of the day, Lord Zed and Raider Repulsor are gone. In their place, we now have Astronomy and Ecliptor. Man, it gets fun. Now I'm on to the reason why I'm here. So, Lord Zed, Raider Repulsor, you didn't give me on look. Well, this is what happens. When you don't give the Miz on look, you am up being come a loser. Forgotten. But my guest here on Miz TV is trying to prove that being forgotten, or at least trying to hold on, trying to be the voice of reason. Now, everybody remembers him. He was that he was that Red Ranger from Power Rangers in Space. Andros Astro also the in space Red Ranger. He was also the general manager of the Power Rangers in Space team. Apparently now he's not a director of wrestling operations. Please bring out legendary Power Ranger Andros Astronmo. So this is Ms. TV. Kind of disappointing, but hey, don't start like everybody else does and disrespect me. You see, everybody likes to come on and not give me on look for some reason. I am a, the last time I checked, Ms., you are not some named known show player. Yeah, you're a named known wrestler, but you're not a named known show player. And if you're going to tell everybody that you're iffin because you happen to star in about five, three Marine sequels and that makes you great, that's so funny, Miz, giving to the fact that that's the only reason why you claim your name known. At least I, at least I'm, you know, I helped save the world once, Miz. You remember what happened in 1998 AD, Countdown Destruction. You're going to live on your reputation, Andros, right? Oh, you saved the world in 1998 AD, of course. We all remember Countdown Destruction, part one, part two. The only two-part episodes that every Power Ranger fan talks about. But, of course, The Miz remembers how everything went down. You see, I used to live in Cleveland, Ohio, United States, before I eventually moved to Los Angeles, California, United States. And I never lived in Angel Grove Township. But I guess um, Power Rangers, I guess their name known. But the little difference between you and me is that if I was a member of Alliance of Evil, you would have gotten beat. Well, as a director of wrestling operations, I'm here to tell you, Ms. Whatever astronomer, my sister Corone has promised you, whatever the general manager Ecliptor has told you, whatever the commissioner and the general manager have told you to do their dirty work, 
You should be ashamed of yourself. You shouldn't help them. I'm going to find out why they're brainwashed and I'm going to stop them. No, you're not going to stop them. You don't know who brainwashed them. That's your beholding. You have no proof to make it true. Yes, Commissioner Astronomer or Crown, as you also call her, and General Manager Eclipter have told me that I'm to burst you. Hey, it's going to happen tomorrow on Monday Night Raw. So, how about I? How about you just hand over your Astromorph for now? How about you shut the hell up before I have you benched? Before I have you suspended or fired? Because I am the director of wrestling operations. And I'm not going to be un, not unlooked by a, by a fiend. Yeah, well, this fiend says he's going to be unlooked. And you remember the last people who was in position. You remember Lord Zen Reed Repulsa. They gave me unlook and they're gone. So if you don't give me unlook, you'll be gone too. How about I'm off Miz TV now? Wait a minute. The Miz tried to get, the Miz tried to attack Andros from behind. Andros took him down instead. Yeah, you do that to me again. And don't go, you do that to me on Monday, you, okay. Hold on. You lay your hands on me right now. And I can bench you. I can find you. I can suspend you and fire you. You wait until tomorrow on Monday Night Raw when I can legally hurt you. Yeah, you legally hurt me. Well, looks like that's not going to happen, though. So you think about that, Miz, before you try to attack me. Well, it looks like that's all. Well, come on, the Jackal says. The Miz should have nailed him. Doesn't care if he's a director of wrestling operations. The Miz should have taken them out at that point. But he's going to take him out tomorrow, Monday Night Raw. Well, Diva Talk says, I hate, don't like Astronomer. I wish I was still in power. But at this point, I have to say, I don't like a Power Ranger either. So I'm kind of, my hands are tied at the moment. But actually, since the Miz did, since, uh, I know, actually, I don't know what to think at this point. I really don't. Whoever wins, I really don't care. Well, I guess that's all the time we have here for TWF 205 Live. On for Dwayne McAllen, for Diva Talk, for The Jackal. We'll see you tomorrow for TWF Monday Night Raw.